Hello, and welcome to Build and Deploy, a technical video series for cloud architects. My name is Vivek Garagai, and I'm a cloud architect on Oracle's cloud engineering team. Today, I'm thrilled to be here with Bhagwati Murugan. He's a business intelligence manager for New Jersey-based product manufacturing company, Construction Specialties. Bhagwati, can you walk us through the architecture that, that you are using on OCI and describe the design and how this whole thing is helping you build and deploy your one CS analytic platform? Based on our current uh, systems availability, like, you know, we have more than a dozen products that we have own patents for since we are a manufacturing company. And our goal is to migrate one product at a time to Oracle Fusion ERP. So, and the remaining products will continue to reside in our uh, legacy AS400 systems. Most of our reporting, I would say like 90% of our reporting is based on all the products because mm -hmm. we report on all the products in a single dash, most on one single dashboard or like in one single report. So that way, like, you know, so what we have to do is like, you know, pull data from our say yeah, legacy AS400 system. And then we have, we also use Salesforce for coding. Like when a new person or a new uh, external rep uh, gets information, customer information, they use Salesforce for, ent for entering the course information. And then of course uh, we have this uh, Fusion ERP, which we have migrated the first product into Oracle Fusion ERP. And then of course we have our spreadsheets. There are still some spreadsheets which we use for accounting purposes, which are not migrated to databases. So we thought this now would be the time to put everything into one single uh, EDW. So all this, they get loaded into our ODI, the Oracle Data Integrator. And uh, that's where our, uh, you know, we have, that's inside our Oracle OCI, the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. The users, we have around 300 plus users and they are all managed by Oracle Identity Cloud Services. And of course, uh, once they are in ODI, uh, they get uh, loaded, the data gets, we have used this standard ETL process. Of course, ODI has all these uh, excellent uh, transformations to pull data from these various sources. And then we load the data into our autonomous data warehouse. The autonomous data warehouse is a huge data warehouse. It's a one single uh, source of, what do you call one single source of truth. Mm -hmm. And uh, that gets refreshed on a nightly basis. We load the data on a nightly basis and some of the data gets loaded on an hourly basis like from Salesforce. The course information, because it's a rapidly changing, changing information. So that gets refreshed on an hourly basis. The remaining information like bookings, invoices, backlog, inventory orders, and all those gets refreshed on a nightly basis into our ADW. From ADW, once the refresh happens on a nightly basis, the dashboards and reports that we have built in OAC, they get refreshed. We use this data set refresh and data flow refresh in the prior versions. They get refreshed and the dashboards and self-service environments are available for user view, like around 8 a.m. EST in the morning. Could you tell us a little bit more about your 1CS initiative and how OCI can fit into that initiative? Yeah, that's a good question. So maybe uh, the way so far the construction specialities worked is like, you know, each office in each region, whether it's North America or Europe or Middle East or uh, Asia or Southeast Asia, people, they had their own systems. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, at least North America is much more advanced with all the latest databases, even on-prem. But in Europe, we still used uh, spreadsheets and yeah. older uh, DBase files. Yeah. So we thought uh, this would be a perfect time to bring all those information into a single uh, ADW, which aligns perfectly well with our 1CS initiative, because that's our goal uh, for uh, CS to move forward. The other challenge there is like, you know, as I mentioned before, we wanted to see all this information, like say, for example, now senior management sitting in US, they don't want not only see just the US part, they also wanted to see what's going on in the world, in the rest okay. of the world. So till now, they are not able to do that. When they were just only able to see like, you know, even in SQL Server or Power BI, which we currently have, they can only see like, okay, this is North America, which has both the US and Canada. This is separate. If you want to see something in Europe, like, okay, let's open an Excel-based uh, spreadsheet or Excel-based dashboard. So we want to integrate everything into one single dashboard. So now is the perfect time and we are actually doing it. We have integrated our UK data in our main dashboards. So the senior management has started looking at that. The next step would be to integrate all the remaining dashboards. And probably towards the end of the, this year, we are uh, now our next goal is to integrate Middle East, and probably early next year into Southeast Asia. And one last question: What what other services or uh, you know or the any future deployment that that is in the pipeline that that you can you want to run on OCI? 
Uh, we are looking at a couple of things like uh, machine learning is one thing. We are uh, more interested. We want to integrate machine learning. Uh, we have seen those nice features in uh, OAC, uh, reports and dashboards. That's one thing. And then we have recently integrated data safe. That was really helpful with this auditing. So even we have this huge uh, data warehouse. Uh, having that data safe, that's really helping us to identify what is that, you know, what gives a good auditing functionality on the warehouse. Yeah, totally. That's, that's another uh, one thing that we are looking into. And then, of course, uh, AI, artificial intelligence, machine learning, those are some other things that we are more interested in. And we are working with our Oracle partners as well. Great. And uh, thank you so much for joining today. Uh, this has been Built and Deployed. Thank you for joining us. Uh, and stay tuned for more technical conversation with OCI customers.